All right, so let's take a look at the 2025 free response questions. Number one, if there are any mistakes, I will put it as a pinned comment in um, in the in the video below. So just, just check in there as well as the link to the actual solutions that are corrected. Um, so we have a manager of an automotive company is interested in comparing gas mileage for cars in country A and country B. The manager selects a random sample of 100 cars manufactured in country A and a random sample of 100 cars manufactured in country B. Gas mileage is each sample. Compare the distributions for the sample of cars manufactured in country A and the sample of cars in country B. So we're doing comparison. So let's say for part A here, we'll just put the answers over on this side here. Um, what we're going to compare is we're going to compare the central. So country B has a has a greater you want to talk about the central part which is the greater median dn um of uh gas my of cars of gas mileage and uh you don't need the numbers but just to show you there this line is the median here right the 32 versus this looks like eight uh 18 32 mpg versus 18. Uh, country B also, so that's the center. The spread, we look at the IQR. IQR would be the easiest thing to compare, so you just look at there. So country B also has a greater, greater IQR or spread of cars, of car gas mileage. Okay, so now we're comparing the spread. And if you want to do the IQR calculation here, um, let's see. So if we look at this, it's 32 minus 24. That's going to be 18. 18 MPG versus this one. Again, I don't think you need the numbers. You're just comparing here. But I'm just illustrating how do you calculate that. This would be from 24 to 16. That would be 8. Okay, so that's the center. That's the spread. Um, you want to talk about the skewness. Right, country A is skewed left, right, because the median is shifted, or sorry, skewed right, because the tail is on the right side. And then country B is somewhat symmetric, but slightly skewed left, because the tail is bigger on the, the left side here. So country A is skewed right with one outlier. And they're showing the outlier right there. So we just hit that at the same time, and country B is skewed left. And so that's the shape left. Okay, cool. So that's A. For B, for the distribution of gas mileage for the sample of cars manufactured in country A, would you expect the mean to be greater than, eight, greater than less than, or equal to? So for part B, country A, it's going to be greater because of the skewed right. All of these outliers are going to shift it to the right. So we would expect it to be greater, uh, the mean of gas mileage for country A is greater than the median because it is skewed right. And the outliers will more heavily influence the mean. Okay, so that's what I would say for that one. And part C, the main manager will create anything else greater than less than or equal. Or, or sorry, eighteen. Yeah, uh, sorry, greater than the median of eighteen mpg. So that's why, just to be very clear on that. Okay, the manager will create a new box plot with the combined data from sample cars uh, manufactured country A and the sample cars manufactured country B. What is the range of the combined data set? Justify your answer. Well, we're going to look at the smallest to the largest, right? The largest is going to be 40. Smallest is going to be 14. So the range is going to equal 40 minus uh, 14. And that's going to be 26 MPG. I do that math right? Okay, I don't have my calculator up. What is a possible value of the median of the combined data set? Just for answer by referencing the box plots shown below. So the median is, um, we want half of the data to be above. Now, both of them are 100. So you got to remember that like this range here is going to contain 50 of them. And this range is going to also contain 50. So you have 
a hundred in this range here. And so the medians, and and I don't know, you gotta maybe think about a little bit qualitatively. I'm not sure how much analysis I would do on this one, but you know, half of the cars, so we got a quarter between here and here, and we got half in here. We wanna say like, what's, what's the point that's gonna separate half, the upper half and the lower half? And each half has to be a hundred cars. So you have to think of like, Okay, so remember, think of it as a count, like this is 25, because each of these is a quartile. This is 25, this is 25, this is 25, and this is 25, 25, this box here is 25, and this box here is 25. So we want to look at, if we combine it, and this 25 is going to include this guy. If we combine it, we want to say, like, where do we have an upper of 100? Well, we're going to have 25, 25, and in this range, this will be like 100. So we'll put it right here because this will contain about 100 right here, right? So 20, and then this would also contain about 100, right? Because this would be 25, 25, 25, and the whole data set's gonna be 200 because each are 100, right? So then uh, about 24 MPG, because um, because um, you would have, because um, let's see, 25 cars in country A, are above it, and uh, 75 cars in country B are greater than 24 MPG. So combined, 100 cars, which is half the data set, half of the new data set, are above uh, 24 MPG, okay, just like that.